Guys, go check out our channel sponsor, AutoKeyCars.com. They just got restocked. And they have something there for you. No, guys, I know picking on the. I mean, it's, it's like picking on a retarded kid, man. It really is. But I'm trying. I'm trying to prove the point. I'm trying to get it down. So I'm wanting to open people's minds up to to see the truth. This right here is what people are following each and every day, believing it is correct. And this is why this country is going down the toilet. It is the plastic patriot who is actually the enemy. That's why this country is going down the toilet. It, it, it doesn't have anything to do with government. Government's doing what government does. Nancy Pelosi's doing what Nancy Pelosi's supposed to do. The Founding Fathers told us that. We're failing to do what we are supposed to do. Why? Because the vast majority of the population is as ignorant as this person is about what rights actually are and what the Constitution actually is, and especially what the Second Amendment actually is. Here it is. What they're trying to do here is they're trying to get rid of all, anything over 10 rounds. And why wouldn't they? I mean, if you were my enemy and you were coming to fight me, I'd be trying to get rid of all your tools too. Duh. Just give it time. 10 rounds is going to be the least of your worries. They're coming after your single shot 22 LRs. Guarantee it. Might not be in your lifetime, but it's coming. That's the way government, that's what government does. The men who founded the country told us this. They warned us about it. They told you this government will become tyrannical. It is your job to keep it in check. We failed. I talked to a friend of mine who's a police officer uh, today, and he called me up. He goes, man, this stuff's going around, and people are freaking out because this it's uh, illegal. Half of the stuff is, 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 is unbelievable, and it's illegal. But you watch. These dumb asses will try to pass this stuff. Well, in this short little segment, Cutter Boy said a lot. Number one, he's friends with the police officer. So he is friends with somebody that violates individuals' rights. Why does he's friends with this person? Because he doesn't understand the truth, the truism, that the violation of one individual's rights is a violation to all individuals' rights. He believes since his friend, the police officer, is good to him, that then he is a good police officer. And that's why he supports the police. And it's all illegal because the only law is the Constitution. And we were pretty clear in the Second Amendment, the last little part of the Second Amendment, shall not be infringed. That even memes by your buddy, the police officer. They're freaking out because they're ignorant cowards. Number one, they don't know the Constitution. Number two, they don't know the restriction on government. Number three, they will not stand for anything. That's why they are freaking out. They are cowards. And when they do eventually pass it, and they will, who's going to enforce it, Mr. Cuddleboy? Surely not your good friend, the police officer. Surely not. That's because, you know, we know that they don't enforce like laws like Prohibited persons, as an example. Yes, the police are the problem. And that's a constant push. Oh, it's a weapon of war. Well, anything is a weapon of war, which is what they don't get, which is the interesting. Nope, it's not interesting at all. And yes, they do get it. Why would they want you to have anything you could go to war and possibly beat them with during that war? They wouldn't. This shit's really scary. Uh, that the people, Sheila Jackson Lee, can just jump on the board, Google the UEU gun ban, and, oh, that sounds like a great idea. And Mom does man action now, and I guess I guarantee Bloomsburg and every town for Newtown had a little bit to do with writing that entire thing, and they always do. What's equally scary is that you're more concerned with what they're trying to do versus who was trying to stop it, or not trying to stop it in this case, which should be us, you, me them the people it is our job to enforce the constitution the very men that founded this government told us what it would do they also told us it would be our job to keep it in check and we are failing miserably because instead of educating people we are dumbing people down further and further what is scary is cognitive dissonance that is what is scary you see the problem you know the problem you can even research and find out more about the problem if you don't know what the problem is yet you and you can be told the problem in your case i have fit, told you the problem i have pointed out all the facts yet you still refuse to accept it cognitive dissonance and that the beauty of our country we do have some protections it's called the second amendment and the second amendment is a god-given right that was given to you and we see the problem we have somebody with a big enough voice that they could change the country through the people they know and the videos that they make, yet they are dumbing the dumb down by telling them that the Second Amendment is their right. The Second Amendment is your right that, that God gave you. God gave you the Second Amendment. No, God gave you the natural right to keep and bear arms, to protect yourself, community, county, state, 
even country, if you feel the need to. The Second Amendment is the people's restriction on government. It's right here. It's circled. You see? That's the Second Amendment. That is not the right. The right is what the enemy is mine if nothing can take it away from us. But in Cuttable's case with the cognitive dissonance, he believes that government, he believes that he is free, but he also believes that government has the authority to create laws that will rule over him that will then be enforced by the police. But yet he's friends with the police. Where do you stand, Cuttable? I really want to know, where do you stand? Because you still, to this day, continue to dumb down the people that watch your channel. And you, you, by this point, you've had to take note of what I've said to you, and I've said it to you clearly. It's about educating people. We do not educate the people where we will lose this war. Yet you continue to dumb them down. And what's going to happen over a long enough period of time, on a long enough timeline, the people will get it in their head, like Cuddle Boy already has, that the Second Amendment is the right. And when they repeal the Second Amendment, and they eventually will, they will then believe they no longer have that right because the Second Amendment no longer exists. Our God-given Second Amendment's gone. It's just like freedom of speech, but they want to take that away from us with some kind of truth czar to try and decide what is feasible for you, the public, to listen to. That's the stuff that really chaps my rear end. Take it away. They can't take it away. But what they can do is they can instill so much fear in you that you refuse to speak freely or you refuse to exercise your right to keep and bear arms. And who would enforce these laws, Coda Boy, can I ask? If this bill was to pass, who would enforce it? Don't say the police forces wouldn't because they already enforce laws just like this. Those laws just don't affect you yet. They affect everybody else, but not you. And that's why you still have friends that are on the police force. Germany doesn't have a second amendment, neither does Canada. And you see what that, that led to them. Well, let Canada and Germany to where they're as the people are unwilling to stand up for their natural rights. It had nothing to do with what was written down on a damn piece of parchment. Force. That's the only thing that will protect your rights. Force. Bitching and moaning, screaming and hollering, pointing at the left, blaming Nancy Pelosi or Sheila Jackson Lee or whoever you want to blame. Is it going to change a damn thing? Thank you, Freedom Inc., for speaking the fucking truth. But anyways, continue to take uh, Coda Boy 32 tactical to school like a fucking beast. <laughs> Force, Coda Boy. That is it. Enforcing the Constitution. Talking about Canada, that jackass up there, Blair... The guy who is their safety director, he basically came out and said it. Owning a gun is a privilege, not a right. He's full of shit. Put your money where your mouth is, Coda Boy. Make a public statement stating that you support the right of the mentally ill and felons and domestic abusers owning firearms. Put your money where your mouth is, bud. This is a, this is a global thing. They want to make us a global, I don't know, sit down and... The, the whole thing just irritates me. I guess you thought the New World Order was a this is some made-up shit. Conspiracy theory, right? There, Cuddle Boy. And irritates you. It should make you fighting fucking mad that these bastards want to sit up there, create laws that infringe on our rights. Not your rights. Our rights. And then execute those laws through the police forces that you are friends with and you support. These individuals, they want to be globalists, they want to be socialist, and they think that this is a great idea. We, the people, control the government, not the government controlling the people. We've stated this before. <laughs> well, Coda Boy 32, like he said, we failed to keep the U.S. government in check. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You stated it before. <laughs> you stated it before. Then why'd you make this video, Coda? You stated it before. Apparently they should listen, right? Just because you stated it before. They don't understand words. They understand force. A law without force is a meaning, a pointless law. The Constitution is the law. When we say we are a land of laws or a nation of laws, 
The laws are the Constitution. You see, you've interpreted it into your police badge-loving head, boot-licking head, that laws means government's laws and the people. We are a nation of government's laws and the people. No, that's not what it is. Uh-oh. Shots fired. <laughs> dude, this guy's taking Coda Boy 32 to school, dude. But like I said, keep on taking him to school, owning him like a fucking boss. And socialism, they want to be socialist. Dude, socialism's been here for a century, and you're just now seeing it? Yeah, I actually, hmm. He actually brings up a, a good point, Freedom Inc., that is. Socialism and communism has been here for a long time now. And for some reason, some of you are just now realizing that communism and socialism is in this country. Pretty much says a lot about your characters right there. Socialism is on its way out and communism is fucking pushing in right now. They're pushing us into communism. You guys are way behind time, so you need to catch up. You know, when I started doing this, I didn't have anybody telling me anything. I had to research all this stuff for myself. Every bit of it. You've had me in your ear for over two years now, giving you the pointers, point stuff now. And this one, like when I mentioned the Act of 1871 to you, you just, pff, just pass it off like you know everything. I hate to be the one to tell you, but you don't know dick. You're as much an enemy to freedom and rights as Sheila Jackson Lee is because you dumb down every person that he hears your voice. Having the ability to protect your loved ones and your property is utmost and also having the ability to protect yourself from a tyrannical government. Do you think Nancy Pelosi or Joe Biden or maybe Kamala Harris is going to get all kitted out together come kick in your fucking front door there, kiddo boy? Who do you think it's going to be? Who's this tyrannical government you talk about, you know, protecting yourself from? You going to go to Washington, D.C. and protect yourself from Nancy Pelosi? No. You're going to be doing it from your front doorstep, fighting thugs with badges on that have been told to follow out an order, and they will, as they always have. You still don't continue to care about their, what they're doing now. Because it doesn't affect you, as I just mentioned a minute ago. You don't care about that they arrest the felon and throw him in prison for life for doing nothing more than bearing arms, even when they're not committing a crime. Or the mentally ill that you don't believe should have the right to keep and bear arms. Because you don't know what a right actually is. You care about the firearm. The firearm is the right in your mind. Which makes you an enemy of the right itself, unfortunately. And ladies and gentlemen, there will come a time when we will have to make a stand. I hope it's not in my lifetime, but I have to feel have a feeling that I don't want my children growing up just like they did down there in Venezuela. And who exactly are you going to take a stand against there, Coda Boy? Who? I, I mean, I'm really curious to know. If it isn't the police because they're your friends and you support them, you support them in each and every one of your videos at the end, you have friends that are the police, who is it that you're going to have to take a stand against? Please tell me. And you hope it doesn't happen in your lifetime. What, you want to pass it off on to your kids? You want your kids to be in that fight? What, you ain't man enough to do it? You want your kids to do it? Think about that. Uh, but here... Damn! <laughs> Oh my gosh, holy shit, that's like, <laughs> oh my gosh, shots fired more like atomic bomb that just went off. Dude, Coda Boy 32 I hope you come up with a response video with this because uh, he completely, Freedom Inc. completely owned you in this video. Jeez. Here's the deal, uh, the Second Amendment is our right given to us by our founding fathers and God. It is presented to us to prevent a government overtake. Just heard it. Well, uh, Coded Boy 32, uh, like Freedom Inc. said, the, for the Second Amendment protects our right to keep and bear arms. The Second Amendment does not grant us the right to 
keep and bear arms. It only protects it. That's right, protects it from government uh, overreach. So, yeah. He said it himself right then and there. He has no clue what right is. Number one, our founding fathers didn't give us our right. They create the restriction upon which government has to operate in order to have our consent to govern us. Or we will press lethal force if we must in order to protect ourselves. See, this is the same. I've been trying to tell you all, got all you guys and girls this and that my patriots need to stand up in lowercase and uppercase uh, video, series videos, whatever. He said in order to to make the U.S. government to back off, you have to use the same force that the U.S. government used on the Branch Davidians at Waco and Randy Reaver and his, the people who were around him at that time at White Ruby Ridge. Use the same force against them. But of course, most gun owners are too pussified to fire the first shot or fire back, but it is what it is. And it's not only to fight off a tyrannical government. That is what the restriction is for. The restriction says, hey, government, you have to operate within these boundaries or we're going to fuck you up. The right is to protect me, my family, my community, my town, my county, my state. I have a natural right to keep and bear arms. You have a natural right to keep and bear arms. We all have this natural right. But Agreed. Uh, we have natural rights. The natural right to freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of choice. Sorry, freedom of choice. Uh, freedom to peacefully assemble. Uh, freedom to uh, the right, the natural right to... Uh, keep and bear arms, to keep our effects, our papers on our persons at all times, to refuse searches and seizures, the right to remain silent, the right to a fair trial, the right to due process and all that. We have those natural rights, including the natural right to vote. See, this is the problem a lot of these patriots don't understand. They say, oh, well, the first, the second amendment, blah, 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 other amendments, they give us, they grant us the rights. No, they protect your rights. They simply protect your rights. What part of that do you not understand? You were born with natural rights. Stop acting like a bunch of goddamn idiots and spouting off bullshit like a bunch of inept, crazy idiots. But the policing forces that you support, that you're about to support here in a second, yes, I'm going to show that too, are the core of the problem. They enforce every unconstitutional law that government has ever enacted. Every last one. Agreed. Um, the cops, just like the politicians, the military, all they care about is about that money. When their paychecks were coming out, the cops, the politicians, and the military, their loyalty is to their paychecks. They put their paychecks before the Constitution. What part of that you so-called patriots don't understand? You don't understand it because you got your head so far up your asses. You just choose to support uh, cops who <laughs> violate people's rights on a daily basis, yet you turn a blind eye to it. Hence why I say that you're a bunch of inept, naive, crazy idiots. Has been enforced by someone with a badge on kills me always end them like this if you like the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe and have already done so support the red white and blue god bless america god bless those men women in uniform who will stand by us when the time comes what he really means to say is support the cops who i hope will stand by me when they create laws that infringe upon my personal effects screw that guy over there though it's cool it's cool that it's, it's it's cool if they infringe on his rights because that doesn't affect me see Coda boy doesn't understand no matter how many times you tell him not whether it be in email text on the phone that an infringement to one individual's rights is an infringement on all individuals rights see he doesn't he doesn't believe that the mentally ill for example have the right to keep bare arms that's because he has no idea what a right actually is when I told him the person sitting in jail has the right to keep and bear arms, he didn't understand it. Why didn't he understand it? Because he doesn't know our Constitution. He doesn't know 
what we allowed or we didn't allow. And when exactly, again, cuddle boy, is it the, where, where are these people at that are going to stand with you? Huh? Where are they at? They're not standing with you now. There, why don't you go to California and take that AR of yours and see how well they stand with you there, bud. Let's do a little beta test here and see what happens. To support our cost. Damn! Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, uh, I like to see these so-called uh, alpha, well, wannabe alpha male and females walk into the U.S. Senate, their state capitol buildings with ARs, AR-15 strapped to their freaking uh, uh, bodies, open or concealed carrying handguns and tell the, their representative the, representatives their senators whatever the politicians tell them to stop violating people's rights especially by my uh god given rights i like to see that happen let's do a beta test here wow jesus christ freedom inc completely own coda boy 32 constitution and our bill of rights as it was understood and written by our founding fathers there is no misinterpretation there that shall not be infringed. There is misinterpretation there, buddy, for the same reason you misinterpreted it. You interpreted it as you have the right to own a firearm, but not that scary mentally ill person over there, not that scary felon over there. They don't have that. They've lost that right, which makes it a privilege if it can be lost. You will never get it, ever. And unfortunately, you just keep dumbing down the masses. You could change the country with your reach, who you know, and the amount of people you that hear your voice every day, you could change the country. Instead, you're just a wolf in sheep's clothing, man. You're the exactly what you claim to be against. Also, he's a snake in the grass, too. But damn, dude. <laughs> When I first watched this video, I was like, dude, this guy is taking Coded Boy 32 to school. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Good video, by the way. Bravo to Freedom Inc. for doing out all of that work and completely take uh, owning uh, Coded Boy 32 tactical, taking him to school. <laughs> Jeez, man.